Now we told you before that officials say the group traveled from South Carolina to Mexico so one of them could have cosmetic surgery. Yeah, it's this medical tourism that happens apparently all the time as Americans try to save a little money, but it's not always safe. Sometimes that can be because of where you're going or maybe it could be the doctors you're actually dealing with. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joining us with the risks doctors are warning others about when it comes to this medical tourism. The cost of health care is causing some people to find cheaper options abroad, but is the cost saving worth the risk? The doctor I spoke to says likely not. This is the moment four South Carolinians were kidnapped in Mexico. They went there as one member of the group was looking to get plastic surgery. Days after they were kidnapped, two are safely back on U.S. soil. The other two are dead. Now there's renewed concerns about the dangers of going abroad for medical procedures. It's heartbreaking. Dr. Theodore Niami with Charlotte Plastic Surgery says sometimes medical tourism can attract people to dangerous areas. A lot of the clinics, um, especially in Mexico, are located near the border. They're located near the border so that Americans can cross the border and have easy access to the clinic. However, a lot of the drug trafficking also happens at the border. Plastic surgeons and medical boards have long warned against traveling abroad for risky cosmetic procedures without doing proper research, but people still take their chances. The main reason, procedures are far cheaper, but with a lower price comes a greater risk. If you don't operate at a qualified facility, you can lower the price. If you don't have the right anesthesia, you could lower the price. So what corners are being cut? In 2019, we interviewed a woman getting plastic surgery abroad to get rid of extra skin. In the U.S., she was quoted $18,000, but a doctor in the Dominican Republic would do it for $7,000. Then came complications. It came to a point where my mom was like, you know, get in the car, I'm taking you to the hospital. From wound infections to blood infections, the cost is the quality of care, and that can cost a patient their life. And the doctor that I spoke to says he's seen an increase in patients going to the emergency department after getting a surgery abroad. He says that post care is really crucial and the doctors have an obligation to treat you from start to finish. Reporting for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson. CMPD is giving away free steering wheel locks to Hyundai and Kia owners. This is happening after that Kia challenge went viral on TikTok. It caused that spike in these particular cars getting stolen. The giveaway is happening at First Baptist Church West. It's on Saturday afternoon. CMPD says that you do have to own a Kia or a Hyundai to be a, a recipient of these free locks. You also have to be a resident of Charlotte.